Jack wanted to get back into his old house. He had stopped working over two years ago. He just stayed home all day long and all night. He ordered takeout and had any sundries that he required delivered. He never wanted to leave the house. Eventually, inevitably, his money ran out. He hadn't been able to afford the mortgage. He was thrown out of his own home. He had to get back in. She was still in there. He rented a room nearby and worked at whatever odd jobs he could get. He kept an eye on the house. While it was unoccupied, Jack often broke in and spent the night. He wanted to be close to her. She was still in there and Jack loved her. Yes, he did. Some of his family said she didn't love Jack the way he loved her. That didn't matter. Some people said that it wasn't an accident. She did it on purpose to get away from Jack. She wanted to go where he could never get her. They didn't know how wrong they were. She was still in there. She was still in the house. The ghost of Jack's wife haunted their house. He could see her, smell her, watch her move between rooms like a shadowy light, like a televised vapor. She would float and drift. Sometimes he could even talk to her. Jack loved the way she talked now that she was dead. She no longer fought with him or bored him. She seemed to only be able to say the things he wanted her to say, the things she used to say before it had gone sour between them. A few times, Jack found her waiting for him in their bed. They would make love just like they had when they were first married, just like they had when they were still in love. Jack still loved her. Now more than ever before, he loved her totally and completely and truly. How could he leave the house where she dwelled? How could he walk away from her? He couldn't. He just couldn't let her leave him now that things were finally perfect between them. A young family bought the house. It was to be their first home. Jack couldn't allow that. She was Jack's wife. He wouldn't share her. The night before the family was due to move in, Jack broke into the house. He poured gasoline all over the house and himself. He lit a match and screamed. He wanted to be with her. burned down to the foundation. When you walk by the vacant lot where Jack's house once stood, people claim you can sometimes hear Jack crying out to his wife. But what you'll never hear is Jack's wife replying.